Today on the channel, I'm here looking for a man. A man at arms, that is, from the Masterverse and New Eternia, Man at Arms. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Masters of the Universe Masterverse New Eternia unboxing and review and today on the channel we got one of the all-timers we got Man at Arms but for all your Man at Arms needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in-stock items anything over $79 does ship free gotta get a deal out there and Man at Arms an all-time favorite of mine old Duncan himself I'm here for this and we've had quite a few man-at-arms figures over the years as you do know and of course we'll take a look at those later but of course we're also going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there and of course brand new packaging for the masterverse in 2024 smaller window there i don't know you guys what do you think about that i'm not a huge fan off the bat maybe it'll grow on me that's kind of the way it goes with packaging you kind of get used to it after a while but it is getting uh, more plastic free, that's for sure. So I guess it's better than, for the environment. Uh, I guess that's good news. So there you go. We've got new attorney down here. Masters of the Universe looking good. Masterverse at the top. 30 points articulation. Mattel window box. Of course, old man at arms. And it strings right around the packaging there, as you can see. I love that. It's looking really cool. On the side, a little battle ram over there. Looking good. And we got Man at Arms times two. Do you prefer him clean shaven or do you prefer the push broom? Me, all day long, give me that push broom. But you got both looks included on this one. We should be able to dive in there. Got a bunch of Eternia of Warriors down here. I think that would be really cool if we could have got some of those palace guards. Uh, maybe an extra head with this one is the palace guard so you could army build this a little bit. I don't know. I'm sure they're uh, smart enough over the Mattel team saying, hey, we'll release that separately down the line. Maybe a Mattel Creations exclusive, something like that. Then you can build your army from there. I could see that happening in the future. We'll, we'll stay tuned to that, see what happens. On the back of the package, of course, got the cross cell. We're unboxing all these on the channel, so stay tuned for that one there. You got Man at Arms looking only like a Man at Arms could look up there. You got some glamour shots. And of course, we got a blurb. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Man at Arms. He is also the heroic master of weapons. Let us never forget that. The last thing Duncan remembered was He-Man shouting, By the power of Skull!" reality cracked and all went dark. Suddenly, Man-at-Arms found himself in a new Eternia, one broken and in need of repair. So, oh, never a good day at the office there, but Man-at-Arms could do it. If anybody was going to be able to do it, it would be our Man-at-Arms. And we do know this new packaging here. You got the blue for the good guys here looking nice. We do get a little trap door here, and then we get a little parchment paper prison going on. So we do got that up there. See you later. Goodbye. And we got the parchment paper. Not just for Hasbro anymore. How about that? So we got that going on. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. Let's dive into these accessories first. How about we got two Man at Arms Fists of Fury, two gripping hands here, but you got two Fists of Almighty Fury. You gotta have those for Man at Arms. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. He's not scared at, at all. And then we do get some extra stuff. It looks like this plugs into the hand. I guess we'll revisit this, but it's like a, a chain and a ball around it. And I would assume this goes into his forearm or into his hand here. I guess we'll see, but it looks like it plugs right in. Very interesting. I don't know if we've seen something like this with Man at Arms in the past. We'll uh, interpret that here in a little bit. And then we got the head and the helmet. We'll talk about that in a second as well as we go over the heads. But here we go. We got Man at Arms in the plastic prison looking pretty good. Of course, locked in. That means it is scissor time. Uh, scissor time, much like hammer time back in the 90s. If uh, You would never forget hammer time if you knew about it. Shout out to MC Hammer. Shout out to the Oakland A's while we're at it. But, of course, Hammer Time was sweeping the nation. Uh, Man at Arms Time swept the nation in the 80s, as we do know. But we're going to get old Duncan out of the package. And it's Man at Arms Time. See you later. Twist ties flying all over the place. Creating a mess, as usual. And then we got Man at Arms Big Old Club here. I'm here for this Big Old Club. We've seen this many a times. It's got a little turn on it as well. Doesn't come off or anything, but it is this club. Of course, we think of this with Man at Arms. He's clubbing people left and right. 
Would have liked a little weapon action, but it looks like it's not in the cards with Man at Arms right here. But let's dive into this Man at Arms figure. Uh, look at the head sculpt here. Looking like a young Don Fry out of the 80s. All shout out to the Predator Don Fry. Got a little of that going on. Maybe a little Tom Selleck. Who knows? Maybe even my dad here with this mush mustache. Almost said mushroom. Mustache on his face looking good. And when I think of Man at Arms, I think of that beautiful, beautiful push broom up above his lip there. A little bit more uh, Salvador, Salvador Dali kind of almost. Not too much turning up there. Uh, but quite the push broom here. Might even make Raleigh, uh, Raleigh Fingers blush at the end of the day. You never know. Uh, but a good push broom on him. Nice blue eyes. Nice eyebrows. Of course, you got the helmet that is attached on this one. You got a little red and green color against that blue helmet. Uh, looking really, really nice as far as Man at Arms does go. But of course, we do get a second head with Man at Arms here. And it is his... Uh, more uh, vintage toy look, I guess we'll call it here, with no mustache, which is always weird to me. It was always a weird dynamic in the 80s. Who are we fooling? A weird dynamic right now. But Man at Arms, an all-time favorite of mine. I am so happy to have this one here. Uh, some may say I'm a big fan of Man at Arms, but no, that's wrong. I'm the whole air conditioner. There you go. Take that to the bank at the end of the day. Uh, but I absolutely do like this Man at Arms. I'm probably going to stick with this head out of here, but it's nice to have this option. And then you got the classic, more classic helmet on him as well uh, with the blue color with kind of the orange stuff going around him. Definitely interesting. I do like that. I don't think this is removable. Oh, it is removable. I take that back. Look at that. So this is a removable helmet here. He's kind of got that uh, uh, skull cap kind of going on here. Of course, uh, he wears looking good there in green. Very cool. You could mix and match these if you really wanted to. Uh, so that is a nice little extra feature to this figure here. I am here for that. Looking pretty good. Like I said, on the whole air conditioner at the end of the day. But looking good with all man at arms. Of course, articulation for man at arms. Arms going to go all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed. Pinless elbows. 30 points of articulation. Shining bright. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands removable. Remember, we got two fists of fury if you need them. Head removable, side to side, back and forth. Pretty good movement out of this. You are blocked a little bit here by his big old vest, but the vest does look pretty good. No butterfly shoulders on this one. I thought for a second we had some butterfly. We do not. Uh, we do get a hula hoop up top. Traditional waist. Of course, those big old man at arm splits. We know he was a gymnast at one time. Uh, thigh cut. Double jointed, pinless knees. Very tight, but very beautiful. And then, of course, you do get the boot cut here. Ankles back, four side to side, up and down. Does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10% at ringside collectibles. Back in stock in December. Load up or uh, be wary of it if you don't because uh, they're not going to come back around, it seems like. Looking good, though. He does fit perfectly on there. Love that. And, of course, he's got his big uh, gauntlets on his arm, the big shoulder guard, of course, the chest guard. Very man-at-arm style looking really good. A little fur on the sides. Uh, you do got a spot on his back where he can hold his weapon if you need to. He can hold it up there. He can hold it down here. You can choose the way he holds it however you want to, but I do like to be able to store that on the back. Uh, he does got an attorney uh, kind of a skirt going on here, a very interesting one, a very Roman gladiator type skirt there. Of course, beautiful title belt here. Not quite uh, the universal champion of Eternia like a young trap jaw, but uh, maybe uh, uh, just a TV champion is what Man at Arms. Man at Arms would be a great TV champion. He's like an Arn Anderson out there. He's just going to put in the work. That's what he's going to do. Looking nice here. I love the forearm guards. Of course, these can be removed if you'd want to, but really, why would you? Why would you ever remove that? Want to figure out this. Now, what is, what is the story with this? Can we just plug this hand out? No, that is not the case. Where does this go? What does this do? How does this work? I, I'm confused here. What am I missing? Oh, wait a minute. I wonder, and I wonder, I wonder, is that what this is for? Okay, I'm figuring it out, man. I'm smarter than the toys sometimes. So you can take the top off of here and you can plug it in there and he's got a little uh, whirly bird action right there going on. So we do have that. So you can choose your own weapon adventure here. I'm probably going to stick to the more classic one, but this one kind of leads me to believe that, man, if I could find this on sale, I may buy a second man-at-arms. I use that classic head, use the weapon different, have some different hands going on. Man, oh, man, that might be the way to go right there. We'll see, but got to play a little of that long game, see how things go. We're still early in the game. I might just be patient, wait for that long game, but that's how that does work with those weapons. So very, very interesting there, no doubt about it. I'm going to put him back on the ringside collectible stand. Looking good, looking truly like a man at arms. I don't know if it's my favorite man at arms, but there's no mistake in who this is if you see this. You know exactly who this is. It's old Duncan, it's old man at arms himself. But let's pull out some other ones, of course, from the Masterverse line. Some ones 
Very similar, but different at the same time. We got two different versions here. Looking good. We got the old uh, man hiding in the cave, Duncan, too. We got that one. You got to have that one there. Love his long hair going on with this one. Very, very cool looking figure. Here for that all day long, but we're not done there. We got to go to the Masters Universe Classics. Could be my favorite one probably right here. And then we got the Filmation version as well. Another all-timer, another classic one. So a lot of good man of... I almost said Man of War figures. A lot of great Man of War figures. What does it take to be number one? Who knows? Uh, but love me some Man of War. Love me some Man at Arms. Like I said, I'm not just a fan. I'm the whole refrigerator. That's what I am at the end of the day. The whole air conditioner. There it is. But Man at Arms looking really, really good here. A definite must-have pickup. Not quite as strong as Trap Jaw, but a close number two between the two new Eternia figures for 2024. Can't wait to see where the rest of this line goes. We know some of the figures that are coming out anxiously awaiting what else meets us next here in the Masterverse line. Just a fun, fun figure. Man-at-Arms, an all-timer, a must-have. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? You picking up your Man-at-Arms? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to both YouTube channels. We got videos every single day, and we got even more content, including early access to videos over on the Patreon channel. Patreon, best way to support the channel all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the mighty man at arms, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.